good morning everyone welcome back to the channel it is a beautiful day beautiful here in illinois uh we have a honda odyssey today customer states that the left side of the radiator fan vibrates uh, he thinks it vibrates more than it should and he wants to have it checked out make sure that there's not something going on there um, I don't know what year this is but as you can see we have 70,683 miles on the odometer we have a 2018 Honda so let us check it out uh, we're gonna need to figure out how this thing works reverse fancy high-tech Right, let's get this thing pulled in. Push the button. Open the door. I believe I might have to take this thing on a run to see, or to get it up to operating temperature to allow the fan to run. But we're just gonna do a little quick once over and see what happens uh, let's pull this thing on in place it in park park man that seems weird i want to move a lever okay pop the hood i know all right my shop's a mess Man. Okay. Good drop rod. And let's check our fan here. It's definitely, as you can see, maybe a little bit out of, uh, something's not quite around there, it looks like. And let's check this one. Let's shut it off. Let's just make sure that there's nothing broke. Maybe something got into it. <clears throat> Power down. All right, let's check this out. Um, let's get a different light. Just kind of rotate this thing by hand and see what we come up with. Oh. That's a problem. Pretty sure. Let's check this one. Yeah, that one definitely is not loose like that. All right, so we can definitely move this one a lot. Like it's very loose. 
and I would assume that's probably why we also have yeah can you guys see that I'm not, I'm not sure get you guys over here I mean there's a good half to three quarter inch of play yeah okay oh man I think that's gonna involve possibly draining the antifreeze and getting that top radiator hose off of there and maybe we can just pull it out through the up in between here maybe um okay well uh that fan is gonna have to come out of there to check and make sure I, I don't know i'm not sure why it's so loose but i would assume that's probably why it's vibrating so we will let's go ahead and get this thing running uh up the temperature make sure that this fan kicks in and just make sure that we don't have a problem with that fan as well all right we're back on this thing again <clears throat> so i've done some checking and service data and according to honda they want you to uh, check this thing um, as far as put full 12 volt power and ground to our radiator fan um, I'm pretty sure that our fan is already bad uh, simply because <clears throat> excuse me I have uh, stuck a mirror in there I wanted to make sure so I put a mirror in there and checked to make sure that the fan is not just loose on the radiator shaft or the fan shaft excuse me fan motor shaft words um and and the the motor shaft and the fan they do move at the same so it is loose in the motor however i thought well if we can do it let's put 12 volt power to this thing uh power and ground and maybe that will uh give us our vibration uh the full speed vibration like the customer was talking about so that's what we're going to do uh, without having to get everything blooming hot to where i can barely stand to touch anything so i've i've pulled this piece off here as you can see there's no clips or any or no no push pin connectors or anything it's just uh just pops out of there so just pull and pop it out of there <clears throat> excuse me man i got allergies or something okay so then reach in underneath here and i have already disconnected this not hard now we're going to take and i'm going to try and place you guys where you can see this because that is kind of a little bit of a pickle to get that thing out of there a little bit it's not bad but take yourself a screwdriver yeah you guys can't hardly see because of that stupid thing in the way okay now let's try to get this in there but what we want to do is we want to push this thing this little black tab up towards the connector and then pull back and that thing just slides right out of there all right then we will expose these connectors here and you should have pin one and pin two is what they're calling uh, i believe pin one would be this one right here they want you to put full 12 volt power the one to here you want to put uh ground so 
let's get our wiring we'll get that power and ground applied and see if we notice anything different on our vibration uh, you know just give us a little bit of an idea all right let's find ourselves a good ground hill right there oops maybe stay please nope okay um let's try this i don't know if that's gonna work okay there we go Hope you guys can see. Yeah, look at that. That fan just wobbles, wibbly wobbly. We got a little, a lot of wibbly wobblies going on there. All right, um, we're gonna go ahead and test the one over here just to make sure. I, I mean, he said specifically the left side. But while we're in here anyway, we're just going to test the right side, passenger side, and just make sure that everything's good there too. Why not? Not going to hurt. But yeah, we're going to need to replace the fan on the left side there. Because that whole fan is just... The bearings are gone. Okay, let's pull this up here. Let's make sure we've got... That one might be... Does it not run at all? Okay, well, let's just check things out here a little bit. That might be a problem. Because I believe that it should be running. It's not. Hmm. And if we reverse, which it should, still run. Okay, well, we might have a bad fan on the right. Um, let's just take things apart there. Let me look in service data and we'll check to make sure that there's not something that's uh, controlling that thing and keeping it from spinning. But I believe that we're going to have a faulty 
right sided fan as well. All right, I'll be back. All right, well, we're back, and I did check with service data just to make sure that we have been testing this thing correctly, and we definitely have. So, I talked to the customer, and the customer's like, well, um, for already like a year or two, we haven't had good uh, AC when we're sitting at a stoplight. Um, said for some reason the AC doesn't want to work properly. Well, according to service data, the one here on the right that's not running is the AC fan condenser, or the AC condenser fan. So, that would explain that. So, we're going to put brand new Honda motors in both of these fans um gonna go ahead and get those ordered those will be here in a couple days uh the customer's gonna let me keep the van until then so for me it's gonna be several days from now but for you guys here in about two seconds we'll be back on this welcome back it's been several days for me for you guys it's been a eh, couple seconds the power of modern editing all right uh we're going to we're on this honda uh obviously we're going to remove these uh radiator fans um the way honda sends sends the uh motors is without any kind of uh fan so we're gonna have to fan and the motor so uh, we will get the crack in here um, I think we're gonna need to take this off this off and then we're gonna try to remove this move that back and make our job a lot easier getting to those I think I could yeah no I probably can't but uh, I need to take that off so to get to there we're going to need to take that so we'll take this one this one this one should be one right there um i think we can just leave that there i'm not sure i'm hoping to just pull that up off there we won't have to take that off doop, doop, doop. and that one so let's get to cracking No! Where did you go? There. Let's get him! Before he falls into Neverland.
gonna have to come loose. Yeah, this way. Cut. I can get this loose. Those connect those fittings. At all. Unplug in the hood latch sensor thing. Okay. Lay this right there gingerly. I'm not happy with that. Not happy with that. Let's do this. Right over there. Okay. Now we have wide open access. Looky there. Yes. came off without breaking. That one did too. Nice. Get this loose. Get this out of our way. Just lay that to the side. Okay. Please stay out of my way. Okay, now we're gonna take these loose. There's, that can stay there. Okay. So we're gonna be replacing both motors. I don't remember if I said that before or not, but we're going to because the one is bad and the other one, or doesn't run at all, and the other one runs but shakes real bad. I believe it's that one there. Okay, now here's the hoping. That we don't have to take this top radiator hose off to get this one out of here. Hmm. I don't want to break a, or tear up a radiator. Paying for a radiator has not been on my list of things to do today. Come loose.
there's one still down there. That's still cable that's still hooked up. Why? Why? No, come on. There we go. That's probably why we couldn't get it out a while ago. Let's just go ahead and slide that back across there for now. Bring you guys over here you can see this thing all right so too much movement all right let's get that thing switched out of there as soon as i get some light on the subject bring you guys over here these fans back in here starting with the left side cooling fan where I make this top radiator hose being careful not to damage the radiator go millimeter snug this up snug each go reach down here and there's a wiring harness that clips in down here on the bottom got that now, let's put this back on. Line up the mark there. There's a there's a little lip there with a white mark there. Probably doesn't matter, but it keeps the hose in the original position. Keep it from getting stressed. Clamp in the original position. All right, let's get this second come on, get in there. Dropping the bottom in the right place. Now, right there. Yo. Click. 
click. Okay, now let's get, I believe this goes here. Click. And then this goes here. There. And this comes right here. Oh, this goes over here like this. There we go. Just like that. Goes there. And I'm going to have to zip tie some of these up because a lot of those broke. So we'll put zip ties on those and get them in the right position. Getting our There. You know. Let's reach around, do the reach around. Click. Put on, put up here what we can. Click. Click. Somewhat. There, perfect. Okay, now. Let's get all of these started. Without dropping that one. Hey. Please. There we go. <laughs> Tight spaces. One on the back side, yeah. Okay. First thing we're gonna do, tighten this top one, click, and the sides. Come on, come loose. Let go, please. Bring you guys over here. Tighten the top one first.
go. Now, this hose here, hose bracket. Perfect. And, and, and. We're going to need to top off the radiator with a little antifreeze. Get some of that. Top her off. Okay. This looks green, and it is green, but it's for all makes and all models. Because I don't have Honda stuff, but all makes, all models, all years, 350,000 miles. I've had good luck with it. All right. Now, let's get this thing. This just slides right in there and goes right there just like that and then wait this comes over here and slides right come on actually you know what I did that wrong And there, there, now this can go on there, click it in there, come on, there we go, line up the holes, come over here and grab these. Okay, here's my others. Slippity side, come on, oops. There we go. Careful not to drop these because there's a perfect tunnel right down there into Neverland there. Okay, there's that, that, that. Now I've got that, that. All right, before we put that cover back on, I'm gonna go ahead and start this thing up. We're gonna test these fans and see what happens. With any luck, we fix the problem. Open the door first so we don't, you know, carbon monoxide ourselves out of here. Welcome, dog. Starting sequence now. We have our AC on. So therefore, here shortly. Oh, ho, ho, I hear a fan. Yes. They're both running. Ah, woo hee hee hee. Yeah! Look at that, it's smooth as silk, dude. Ah! I'm happy. It's all done. Sorry. <laughs> all right. Well, with that, I'm gonna close out this video. I'm gonna go ahead and snap this piece back in we'll double check our antifreeze before we do that but we'll put everything back together uh, this van is ready to go back to the customer um, yeah I hope you found this video helpful and if you did if you don't mind going ahead and tapping that like button 
and subscribing. Subscribe to my channel, that would be great. I appreciate it. I appreciate every one of you. Uh, thanks again for watching. Until the next time, we'll catch you later.